सी द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन सेट ए कंसिस्ट ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स वन थ्री टू एंड सेवन वी हैव टू राइट थ्री सबसेट्स ऑफ सेट ए वेन वी से सबसेट्स इट मीन्स दे शुड बी पार्ट्स ऑफ सेट ए सो इट कैन कंसिस्ट आइदर इवन एंड एम टी सेट इज अ सबसेट ऑफ ए सो वी कैन राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इवन एंड एम टी सेट लाइक दिस विद नो एलिमेंट्स इन इट देन ओनली विद वन एलिमेंट दैट इज आइदर वन और थ्री और टू और सेवन सो लेट इज राइट लाइक दिस वन there was only three let us list all of them if possible okay so we have written so only now we'll take when two elements are there so therefore we have one and three okay then one and two then one and seven once is done we'll start with element here three Three and two, three and seven. So let us write three and two. Then three and seven. Okay, we finished with one. We took one. We took three. With one, we took two. With one, we took seven. Then three with two, three with seven. Now we take two with seven. Two with seven. So with Two elements we have completed. Now we'll take three elements at a time. That is, one, three, two, one, three, two. Then we take three, two, seven. Then we take two, seven, one. Now instead of writing two, seven, one. Since one is first in the set A, I will write it as one, two, seven. So I have here one, two, seven. So we will starting from two. Now we'll take seven, one, three. But will we write it seven, one, three? No, we'll write it in the order as it is given here. So one, three, seven. So let us write here one, three. we have finished with the three elements at a time last a set is a subset of itself that also we had said was one of the points of subset so we can also write the same set as it is that is 1 3 2 7 7 so how many subsets have we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 subsets although they have asked us only three i've just shown you how we can write different subsets of this set a the empty set and the set which is equal to this also form subsets of this set a go to the fourth fifth question now write the subset relation between the following sets now see here they have given us different alphabets or different names of sets for the residents of different places that is p is the set of residents of pune m is the set of residents of madhya pradesh i is the set of residents of indore we have p is the set of residents of india and h is the set of residents of maharashtra now the question asked here is to write a subset relation between the following sets now we know that the residents of pune will be the residents of maharashtra also so i can write here the residents of pune are also the residents of maharashtra so what is will be the subset relation there p is the subset 
set or equal to h therefore p is a subset or equal to h also we have that residents of pune also are the residents of india so i can write here residents of pune are also residents of india so what will be the relationship then their residents of pune are residents of india therefore p is a subset or equal to p therefore p is a subset or equal to p now we go to the next one that is indoor so residents of indoor are residents of madhya pradesh so i can write here residents of indoor are residents of madhya pradesh now residents of indoor is represented by i residents of madhya pradesh by m therefore i is a subset or equal to m now these residents of indoor are also residents of india right so again here indoor is represented by i india is represented by p so i is a subset or equal to p therefore i is a subset or equal to p okay now once we have written this then we also know that although pune is in maharashtra and indore is in madhya pradesh maharashtra and madhya pradesh are also parts of india or they are subsets of india so we can write residents of maharashtra are also residents of india the for residents of maharashtra was represented by h and india is represented by b so h is a subset or equal to b same way residents of madhya pradesh are also residents of india residents of madhya pradesh are also residents of india residents of madhya pradesh is m represented by m india is represented by b therefore m is a subset of b okay so we have written all the subsets here we have one two three four Five and six. Now let us see the second sub question. In the second sub question, they are saying which set from the above example can be chosen as a universal set? We know that all the residents from all the places, whether it was Pune, Maharashtra, Indore, Madhya Pradesh, all of them are residents of India. That is why it does. the residents of india will be the universal set and residents of india was represented by the letter p so all the set given above are subsets of the residents of india therefore we can say that set set p set p which was a uh, consisting of the residents of india we can write in bracket residents of india set p residents of india 
can be chosen as the universal set.